Hello and welcome to the Widow's Oil. Today I want to speak to you regarding what, how you should answer family members or fellow believers regarding Hebrew roots. If, for example, you have family members that are part of this and um, or, or another one and there's maybe somebody you want to speak to uh, about it because you are worried about them, how should you deal with it? Now, I made a video, uh, which I will link below, which um, is called The Test of the True Mother, which may help give you more insight into um, why I'm going to say what I say now. But this is just a short video to help those people who have fam family members or loved ones or fellow Christians that you need to answer because we are told to give an answer to everybody that asks about the hope of our faith which is within us and sometimes we are also said to um, we must save those who are in the fire. So how Satan's evil scheme works is of course through our um, sinful nature to quarrel and strive about things. So the trick is not to try and convince others uh, that grace replaces law or to argue about what laws we should keep. Do not argue about the law. Do not have a wrangling about matters of the law because the Bible tells us those are fruitless. The only thing that that uh, I feel that can be very helpful is to point to the fact of our unity in the Lord. What you need to keep stressing to your loved one or fellow believer is um, Galatians 3, where Paul tells us that we are one in Jesus Christ and there is no Jew nor Greek. Greek stands for Gentile. So in the Lord, we are one. The Lord broke down the middle wall of separation and we are to be one. And you can explain to them that in these movements, there is an overfocus on the difference. They actually speak of Jewish or Messianic believers and then Gentile Christians. And this is not going to only stay with this division, which is already deadly because the Lord said a house divided cannot stand, but it is going to lead to um, one um, group being the Jews, being set above the other group. And then there is going to be a seduction into law keeping. So you do not need to explain all that to the family member. All you need to do is to tell them the Lord made us one. We should not make a distinction. Keep it very simple. Explain to them your concern in a loving, kind way that what you notice is that there is an overfocus on the differences, and that's not the faith we receive. The what we received is that we all get grafted into the Lord, and we are supposed to be one, and we are not to focus on these differences because these differences engender envy and strife, and that is not going to lead to the special peace that our Lord brings to you. I have made uh, quite a few videos about the matter of that the Lord um, united Jews and Gentiles and we should not separate what the Lord united. So I will link all these videos so that you have an understanding. But my simple advice is do not wrangle about it. Go and read um, where Solomon gave good advice regarding the two women who fought about the living child and who had the living child and who had the dead child and see how he was wise to point to the crux of the matter, which is division 